YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another comic book mystery box. So this mystery box I have for you guys today is actually for my boy Doggy. Um, check him out, I'll put all his information right here. I do believe he still has some of these mystery boxes available if you're interested. Check him out, they are $45. Um, not really too sure what's in here. Um, he didn't tell me any of like, the uh, um, comic books he was adding, but he said there would all be some heat. So I'm gonna open that up and also show you guys some of the uh, comic books I got uh, from last week's new comic book day. So let's get right into it. guys before we get into this video please smash that like button down below very important that you do so it helps grow this youtube channel and helps with the youtube algorithm to get it to a new audience so if you don't mind i would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and if you're new to this channel welcome and hit subscribe buttons so your updates on my most recent content and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as i post a new video so like i said i have a mystery box for you guys today from doggy's den um but i also do have some stuff from this last week's new comic book day so um i didn't go actually on wednesday last week i went I think either Thursday or Friday, um, just because I didn't think there was too many hyped up books I thought I was going to be able to walk in and get them all, which ended up being the case. So just want to show you guys some of the stuff I picked up. So first we have this uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 56. This is the last issue of this run. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the last order of this run. I'm looking at the back. This is the advertising for next week's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or oh, Mighty Morphin number one. Um, but this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 56. It's the appearance of a new Green Ranger. Um, if you guys have not read Power Rangers before, it's completely different than the TV show. It's a whole lot darker, um, a whole lot um, more interesting. You know, the TV show was just kind of silly action, which, uh, you know, is what we grew up on. But um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the comic book, is completely different. I strongly suggest you guys check it out. Um, that new Green, Green Ranger, really excited to read this one and see what's going on. This is the variant cover. Um, there's a couple different covers. I think it's three or four different covers for this one. So um, you still can find that in your stores if you're interested. Up next, I have Captain Marvel number 23. Um, this is the first appearance of Namor's son. I forget his name. Um, drop down in the comment section below if you know. Um, but Captain Marvel's actually been pretty hot recently, so I've been trying to keep up with it, um, get all the issues that are coming out. So this one is actually a first appearance, so it's definitely one I have to track down. Pretty cool cover. Uh, I definitely think Namor is going to be a character that enters the MCU soon um, through Black Panther. That's just my um, speculation, but um, pretty cool to see uh, this comic book and uh, pretty cool cover as well. Had to pick up Thor number nine. Still haven't read number eight yet. This is the first appearance or uh, first reappearance, I think, of this doctor right here. Um, but I, I haven't read eight yet, so I have to read eight and nine. I don't know why I've fallen behind on Thor. Um, but very, very good story if you guys have not checked it out yet. Um, Thor number nine. There's a couple covers for that as well. Um, this might have been the hottest book of the week. I haven't read it yet, um, but it's a whole lot of different covers, a whole lot of um, hype around it. It's not hard to find, so if you guys are interested, I can you can still pick it up. And that's crossover number one, written by Donny Cates, who may be the most popular writer out right now. I'm um, gonna check it out. I've heard some good things about it. I heard it kind of starts off. It starts looks like it's gonna start off slow and kind of build up like most of the stories do. Um, but crossover number one, pretty cool issue. Had to get this. See what all the hype is about. And then this one I had to get just a cover buy. I don't normally buy this comic book, um, but the comic book cover was a, a must have for me. And that is Savage Dragon number 252. This is the second print. It's got the Charlie Brown cover. Uh, Good Grief Savage Dragon. Got the Charlie Brown and I, I don't know who that is. Is it uh, Lucy, I guess? Um, yelling at Charlie Brown right there. So pure cover buy. I probably will never read this <laughs> at all. And unless you got something that's good, but in general, I just thought it was a really cool cover. And uh, Charlie Brown and Peanuts is always a win for me, so I had to pick that one up. And last but not least, I picked up this Department of Truth second print. I got the first one. The first print was very, or the first issue is very, very good. I haven't read number two yet. And um, it's a good story. If you guys are interested in checking out a new um, good story, this one's really um, good. I had to pick the second print up. It's a different cover. And um, there's a little bit of hype around this book, so I decided that I wanted to get um, double down on this one. So... That's all I have for you guys for my pickups today. So let's get right into this mystery box. So, like I said, it was $45. I don't remember if he said how many comic books would be in here, which ones would be in here, like, you know, the top grails would be. Um, so it's gonna be all around surprise for me, a surprise for you guys, and true mystery box, so I like that. So, you know, Doggy's definitely a good dude. You know, we talk pretty frequently. Um, so, 
definitely you know check him out. Um, you know he has a whole lot of comic books, so I can only imagine what's in here. And um, yeah, show him some support. Like I said, 45 bucks. Um, his information again is right there, so you can check it out. And let's see what we got. So we'll just do these, I guess, one by one, and see what's in here. Up first. Oh wow. <laughs> So we have Strange Academy number one. This is the third printing. So I actually do have this one already. Um, so this is a duplicate. So um, still a cool one. You know, it's never the thing with comic books that different than Funko Pops is a lot of times it's better to do, uh, double down on comic books just because it's easier to trade bait. They seem to they take off. They take off a little bit more than comic, uh, Funko Pops do. And Strange Academy is definitely a hype book series right now. Um, this is a really cool cover. I have a few covers of Strange Academy. Um, a few printings. I don't have the first printing, which um, it's actually gotten kind of out of hand as far as pricing for a new book. Um, but this one, very, very cool. Got the Stop the Strange in the cover. And uh, you got all the new um, students of Strange Academy down there. So very cool issue to start off with. Let's see what we got. Um, feels like there's like maybe six or seven books in here. All right, up next. Oh, okay, so this is actually two books. So we have Charlemagne number one and Charlemagne number two. And what I'll do is I'll look on the um, key collector app, see if there's any like first appearances or any valuable ones in there after we're done. Just because I don't know if offhand, um, I know Strange Academy number one's the first appearance of all his new students, um, but the rest of the books I may not know, so uh, we'll check later on. But Charlemagne one and two, I'm not familiar with this, it's from Defiant, um, the comic book company Defiant. Um, not familiar with this one, but the covers are very, very dope. So this one's pretty cool, it's 48 page issue for number one. And uh, number two is really got a cool cover too, so got the first two books for Charlemagne. Pretty cool. Alright guys, like I said, there's more books in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I'm not a Green Lantern fan, but this book is kind of fire. It's making me change my mind. So this is the variant cover for Green Lantern number eight. So for DC, I can only stick with Batman to be honest with you. Uh, I need to kind of expand my horizons a little bit. I hate Superman, but a lot of the other ones I don't get into as much. Um, but this is really cool. It's got like a green sword. Um, yeah, he's... This is a pretty cool cover. I ain't gonna lie. So, uh, cover buys are always strange to me, you know. Um, it kind of just whatever attracts your attention. And it kind of um, varies from person to person. But I think this one's pretty cool. Drop down in the comment section below um, what you guys think about this cover. But very, very cool one. I, I don't know if this one's from this year or how recent it is, but still a really, really cool cover. Up next, what's this? We have Brigade number one. Huh. So this looks like it's a, oh, it's Image Comics. At first I thought it was Batman. I was like, it doesn't really look like Batman, but it looks like Batman at the same time. It looks like Cable, but not really Cable at the same time. So this is from Image Comics. This is uh, Brigade number one. Um, pretty cool issue, pretty cool cover. Um, like I said, I don't know much about this one. Um, looks like it's by Rob, uh, the cover artist is Rob Liefeld, so that makes sense, it looks like Cable. Um, but yeah, let us let me uh, do some more research in this guy. Maybe it is Cable, and um, I'm, I'm just not, I'm missing something. But there we go, Brigade number one, pretty cool issue right there. All right, let's see. Up next, oh! Now this is, a, this is a, right at my alley, so this is True Believers number one, um, or True Believers, but it is Kitty Pride and Wolverine. So this is definitely a reader copy for me, obviously with True Believers, what it is, if you're not familiar, it's a reprint uh, of an old book, but Kitty Pride and Wolverine are two of my favorite X-Men, um, and they're always pretty good stories when they put them together, you know, they've got the Days of Future Past and other things that they've done in the past, uh, but this one, pretty cool issue, Kitty Pride and Wolverine. All right, guys. I think we got got two more up next we have oh okay so this is nightwing this is the first solo series debut of nightwing all right that's pretty cool nightwing was always one of my favorites uh growing up as a kid i used to have all the nightwing toys and on the back you flip it we have uh sandman pretty cool sandman sleep stalker uh from malibu comics so pretty cool i have never really gotten to sandman people say it's one of the most well, one of the best stories of all time, best comic books as far as like a read, uh, but I never really got into it, so maybe I needed to take a look and read this one. But this Nightwing is fire. Really, really like this one. And uh, to get the first Nightwing comic, pretty cool one to add to the collection. All right, guys, one final book. Let's see what we got. Oh, all right, so we have Flash, number 314. So this is an old one. Looks like it's uh, 
maybe the first appearance of the Eradicator, because it says Enter the Eradicator right there. Uh, I never, like I said, DC Comics, I'm kind of a, not a, as versed as I am with Marvel, so I don't know all like the Flash characters outside of Flash. Um, but this one is pretty cool. Like I said, I'm going to check uh, Key Collector, see if we have any first appearances or any like, you know, uh, valuable ones that I missed out on. But there you go, Flash number 314, um, pretty cool issue, definitely an old one, 60 cent issue right there, so this is probably from like, I don't know, 70s maybe? We'll check in a second. So let me check all these books and let me tell you guys uh, what we got. All right guys, so I went through the Key Collector just to make sure I wasn't missing any first appearances. That Flash comic actually isn't the first appearance of Eradicator, but it is from the 80s, so it's an older book. Um, and this Nightwing, like I said, is the first solo issue for Nightwing, which is a really cool one to have in the collection. Uh, they haven't done really anything with Nightwing yet as far as like in the movies or anything, but I definitely could see them doing that in the future, so that's definitely a good one to have in the collection. And you know, everything else, just really cool covers, cool, really cool issues. So definitely think that you know we did well as far as um, our purchase price. So definitely check out Doggy's um, Den, Check out Doggy on Instagram and YouTube and uh, let them know I sent you and uh, check out his mystery boxes and I think they're still available if you're interested. So let me know your thoughts and what your favorite comic book was from today. Um, if you've not already, hit that like button down below. Hit subscribe button if you're new to this channel and uh, check me out on Instagram as well at The Pop Savage. You can stay connected there too. Thank you so much for watching guys and until next time, I'll see you later.